All right, welcome Leo to uh, the March 2020 reading. This is your information for March 2020. Um, I can already tell you right now that there is going to be an additional part two that will show up for you guys in the next couple of weeks as it will for all signs. March is jam-packed full with energies from the universe. You know, we're still in Mercury retrograde up until the 10th. Uh, we've got the full moon that actually happens on the 9th, and that full moon is in Virgo. So that's going to be very, very interesting. We have, um, you know, a lot of conjuncts with, uh, well, let's see, Mars is going to conjunct Jupiter on the 20th. Saturn is actually going to turn into Aquarius on the 21st of March here. Then, you know, that's important because we're all starting new karmic cycles. Then on the 24th, we have the new moon. Then the 31st, we go um, uh, Saturn conjuncts Mars. So that's going to be a little bit feisty for a lot of people. And then we have Venus. Metro Venus will go into retrograde. So it's a lot of bunch of stuff that's going on. And I am more than happy to put information out there to help as many people as possible during these times okay so if you've been with me before or you've seen um, my reads before then what you should understand is that I do a nine card basic spread so the first column really is going to break down into health it's going to be your mental thoughts your heart space and in your physical body itself okay this middle column is going to be all action based so this first card is um, actions that are coming into you. This middle card in this row is going to be more about the central theme of what you've got going on, Leo, for this particular month. It's your outward communication. It's the vibe that you're giving off. It's the energy that you're giving off, okay? And then this third card in this column is going to be inward self-talk. Um, kind of like, you know, your, your, ooh, well, we got two, so let's take two. Well, hey, they actually marry together, so I, I'll we'll take those. Um, your inward self, your inward self talk, um, kind of like your Scorpio energy. This third column is about relationships. The first card is work. The middle card will be more about your family, and then the final card will be about your finances. Oh, I love this. Okay, so let's get the financial outcome for our Leos for March twenty twenty. Well, we're going to go and do another quick shuffle because that was a lot. There it is. Oh, well, all right. I learned a long time ago. If they give you a story, you take the story. Oh, whoa. All major arcana. Holy buckets. Holy buckets. Leo. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Well, we are going to go in with the standard tarot deck to cover... Um, another um, aspect to pull out a little bit. Traditionally, we go in with the tarot, um, angel tarot, to do another on top of the family and finances because it's so important for all of us, regardless of our family uh, configuration. And our physical body, we will hit that up with the angel therapy, and then we will get an overall um, message from the angels of Atlantis here at the end. So, wow, that's a lot of information. But like I said, there's so much that's going on, Leo. I really want to make sure that I take my time and I get through this. So just, you know, please give me a minute. Um, oh, wow. I'm just tripping over here about all of this. Wow. Okay. Well, we're just going to take it one by one. <laughs> um, technically, I would have said that you had two major arcana on the board if that was huge enough as it is, but you've got three that's sitting in the financial sector. So let's just start with one and then we'll do what it is that we do here. Okay, so in your mental space, I think this is fitting. You've got the two of swords. Traditionally, this is mental conflict. This is internal mental conflict. Um, something is weighing very, very heavily on your brain. And as we go across the row here, I'm picking up that it, a lot of it has to do with some money changes that you want to be able to make. But we're going we're gonna to take them individually here. Your heart really wants to start something new. You've got the full card, okay? And this is Aquarius energy. So perhaps we should be taking a look at something that's going to happen around um, the 21st of March when Saturn actually goes into Aquarius. 
Um, if you know your natal chart, that may be meaningful for you, but just take that for what it is. But your physical body, what we have here is the three of sword. It's heartache and loss. But because it's in your physical sector, I really am picking up that there's something going on with your within your heart chakra itself um, or your physical heart. We will pull more pull more of that out in just a second. Now, the actions that are incoming towards you, the information that you're going to be receiving um, before the end of March here is all about the um, foundations and achievements. So this is the Four of Rods energy, which is wonderful. Um, something f within your home, perhaps, your business, perhaps, um, is coming. And the fours are about stability. Now, this is a four year. I think everybody knows that 2020 is a four year. So this is auspicious in, in itself. I have a feeling that's why these extra ones popped out the way that they did. Um, so there is some great news that's coming towards you with regards to your foundations and your achievements. So what's going on with you um, in your outward communication is you have taken the proverbial knee. <laughs> um, this is the eight of cups energy. And this is talking about emotional withdrawal, kind of going within, trying to do some meditation, trying to kind of figure some things out on your own. Um, and I appreciate the fact that this is your central energy. It's a higher card, which means this, that something is getting ready to turn the corner here. Now, as we talk about the numerology and cards, I don't necessarily always do that. You know, when you get into the lower, unless it's a beginning of something new, your mid-range numbers are, you know, just kind of where things are at. Your eights, your nines, you're almost at the end of a situation. So I felt like I just needed to talk about that one. And because this is the middle role here, your heart space, your outward communication, and your family, I'm feeling as though um, you're ready for a new relationship for sure, for sure, for sure. And you're just taking time out because of something that may have happened to you in the past. I'm thinking there potentially this heart, this heartache and loss could have been... Um, you know, a breakup in a relationship that you're healing from, which is requiring you to take that internal break, which is all fine and good. Your inward self-talk, okay? Your inward self-talk your self -talk is your subconscious. And your subconscious is really, if you know anything about your chart, and again, I bring this up, is more of your Scorpio... Mars and Pluto ruled your fears, desires, and your manifestations. So really right now what I'm getting is prosperity beginning, which is the ace of um, pentacles. Okay. Recognition and reward is the three of pentacles. So your inward self-talk is you're boosting yourself up. You're looking towards manifesting um, and and really getting to the point where you're you're really wanting your money story to change. And I can tell you that that looks like that's going to happen. Um, there's nothing crossed here. I'm just doing this for a visual for myself so that I can get there. But numerog numerologically, oh, for the love of Mike, <laughs> using the numbers. <laughs> The three and the one reducing to a four, again, foundations four. Um, this is kind of where you're at right now. Excuse me. When we get and we travel over to the relationship that you have with work, I mean, you are receiving material harvest. So this is the nine of pentacles. This is being completely satisfied with all of the different things that you're doing um, and receiving. You have bounty that's coming towards you. Um, enough to be able to um, share with other people. So whenever I see someone that gets the nine or they get the 10, I always make sure that you understand that that is a significant opportunity for you to be completely in gratitude um, for all that you currently have and then all that you um, are getting ready to receive. Now, we're going to travel down into the love sector this is the the excuse me the family sector your relationship with your family and i do see that you've got the ace of cups you've got love beginning this is the universe giving you um the opportunity to not only restore you refresh you replenish you but they are giving it to you so much so that your cup will be filled and it will be filled to overflowing in order to provide this with somebody else so what i find beautiful about the fact that it's sitting next to this eight is that you travel nine and then you know um one and zero beginning and ending kind of you know kind of all the same thing so 
new beginnings as I'm as we're looking at what your heart is truly looking for, what you're asking for, the vibe that you're giving out is a little bit of emotional withdrawal, but really I see this as I'm just seeking a little bit of peace. Um but love beginning in that family sector with this Ace of Cups is huge. Leo, this is probably the best one that I've done so far. Um, and we haven't even gotten into the financial sector yet. So let's take a look at what we have. We have truth. We have the magician with awareness. And then we have um, the star card, which is hope. Um, I'm going to do my little number thing right quick because... I, the, I'm, I just feel that this is the right thing to do. 8, 9, 11. You've got an 11 on the board, which reduces to 2, which is the right place, right time. I can't even, even, right? Complete, just look at this. Awareness. The magician here. The ability to utilize all of the different elements that you have within yourself to create, to make happen, um, to, to, to truly pull in what it is that you need. So this is, you know, Gemini, um, Gemini Virgo energy, communication, socialization, networking, traveling. I get, I'm, I'm getting travel with this one. That's, that's what I'm getting out of it. We're going to skip over here to the star card, which reduces to an eight if you felt like you really needed to do that. This emotional withdrawal. Connecting to this thought process that you've got going on. You've got a mental conflict, in my opinion, about what it is that we're asking this star to give you. So technically, the star is hopes and dreams and opportunities to, um, you know be refreshed with with different things that can come up you know dreams coming true that kind of kind of a thing but it's sometimes a star will give you a shake up and say hey man or hey hey gal or uh let's be cognizant of what it is that we're asking for but what i'm seeing here overall is that you're aware that there's some beautiful change that that can happen for you um I just have to sit there with this for just a second. I'm just, I'm, I literally need to just sit here and absorb this because I'm empathic. And when I pull in the cards and I get information that's fed to me from, from spirit, I get feelings, I get words, I get, um, thoughts, I get images. I've got a lot of the beautiful clairs that pop up. It, this is a lot. <laughs> So give me a minute to just really try to understand. Um, carry the positive attitude with this new awareness that you have. So that tells me that the magician can sometimes be a trickster. He can. I mean, you know, at his worst, he's just a big asshole. But that's just the energy of of uh, of what it really can be. So you're judging yourself. The, the I'm sorry. The truth card is 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 judgment. So you're judging yourself about your finances. You have the awareness to understand that these things are beautiful and you're judging yourself for something that's gone on. And the reality of the situation is judgment, especially when it's paired with the star, we're going to take this out of it for a second because I don't think that there's anything negative going on here. But if I'm looking at the duality of the situation here, you can't receive these two cards without recognizing that there's something that's that's really beautiful that's there okay so we are going to clarify with um the other deck just to make sure that there isn't anything else that i'm missing but it's like you're tore up on the inside about knowing that you have something beautiful that's the potential for you right you're you're conflicted about knowing that there's an achievement that's coming that's going to be bringing you a material harvest. 
you know, in your heart, you want to start something brand new. Love is coming and it can be just love for yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be a partnership with um, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be, excuse me when I take a sip, um, literally just loving yourself. Um, cause again, you can't, you, you have to fill your cup before you're capable of giving that to somebody else. The energy I'm getting here is really super conflicting and it's not because I don't understand the different areas. It's just because this should be like the most kick-ass, like happy reading, but I'm getting the sense for some people that you're judging yourself about the fact that, and of course this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but I'm getting the fact that there's a decision that you made in the past which you're kind of second guessing and you're regretting in a sense. On the other hand, some of you are aware and have keen awareness of your um, spiritual self enough to know that it takes mental, um, in order to get past any mental conflict that you've got to take that knee so that you can be refreshed when it comes to the awareness and that both of these are here for you is just validation for that work that you've put into it. Whew. Okay, we're going to leave it at that for the moment because I do want to spread these out a little bit. And I want to grab my second deck and we're going to we're going to go around the board here. So um, we're using my um, steampunk tarot and I love this deck because I just love the imagery of it. Um, and I think it marries well with this particular deck because sometimes the messages... Um, I don't know. They just, they really resonate. Well, there's the first one. You got the Ace of Swords in the upright position. And the Ace of Swords is another huge blessing. So sometimes the Ace of Swords can be reviewed as the double-edged sword. Um, you have to really know how to wield this, um, in order to either cut through the bullshit, but make sure that you're not feeling negative about something that you've said or done using and wielding that sword. In this particular area, I'm going to continue to travel on the board because I really, I keep going back to that. I just feel like my stomach is in knots because I know I did, not me, but I know that somebody did something and they're regretting it in a sense. They're happy with the outcome, but they're regretting the way that they did it. Okay, that's fair enough. But Jesus, you got the Ace of Pentacles again. You've got the new beginnings and foundations. Okay, so perhaps... Um, you know, you're, you're considering um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, trying to start a new something something with. But come on, you've got three aces. Well, all right, we're just going to con continue on. We'll, we'll figure it out. The physical body, like I said before, there's heartache and loss that is showing up at the face value of the card. But what I'm getting more is like heart chakra. <clears throat> I'm also getting throat chakra. Like there's something that you needed to have said that you didn't necessarily say. Yeah. Okay. So the three of pentacles in reverse is telling me when you had recognition and reward here, you're, you're, you're bound up a little bit because you thought that you should have said something differently at a different point. You know, the three of pentacles, um, is collaborative effort and energy. Um, and you're you're feeling upset with this three of uh, here that you didn't say something that was on your heart with regards to this collaboration. But I got to tell you and take you back here, you've got the recognition and reward again. It's uh, um, it's sitting here. This is the three of pentacles again. It's sitting here. So prosperity begins. So get out of your mental conflict because what I'm feeling now for somebody is that you did the you did the work. You did the work. Again, this is uh, not all components are going to resonate with everyone, and they can't because there's just so much going on here. But those are the two things that I'm getting. So I'm going to take the two because I was traveling back up to the foundation and achievement. And <laughs> you got the Nine of Swords energy. So in the past, you were feeling um, very much in your headspace about wanting to get to this, this beautiful place. Well, guess what? Damn it, it's here. <laughs> you travel from the three to the four. Um, this is, this is beautiful. You travel from the three of wands to the four of wands here. So the nine of swords was just, you're in your head too much about it, overthinking analysis paralysis. And, um, you know, fire signs, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you, you, you guys will take it and run with it to the nth degree. Sometimes just like an air sign will like go way too 
too far deep into it. You didn't need to do that. It's over. This is finished. This is done. This is beautiful. I'm going to keep going because now the mood is changing. Now the mood is changing for me. So let's talk about this outward communication. Why? <laughs> um, significant manifestation. That is the word that's coming out here. You've got the nine. Uh, well, okay. You've got the three of cups, which is celebration. Okay. Um, and then you've got the nine of cups. So for some of you guys, this is going to be, um, you're, you're, you're going emotionally within with these cups. This is very interesting. Three to eight to the nine. Some of you, this is very much, you needed to get a break from something so that you could get to a point where you could feel validated, valuable, and, um, and happy in order to take this next turn. Some of you legitimately, this is taking a break because you recognize that there was a little bit too much partying going on. That's the truth of it. Moving forward. Inward communication and self-talk. So you definitely are wanting the prosperity to begin. This, this ace of pentacles. Again, you want the recognition and the rewards. You want this collaboration. You want this to work out. This is what you're internally talking about. Whoa. All right. Temperance. Yeah. Somebody's getting over the alcohol problem. I'm, it, I'm just telling the truth. That very much is what this is. Um, now, I'm going to put these ones back because this one flew and I know what's going on with it. We're going to shuffle this up again. You want to be recognized for the fact that you cleaned it up. Somebody very specifically. You cleaned up your act. You knew that there was something wrong that was going on. <clears throat> and you're cleaning up your act now. That's good. That's That's, that's great. Congratulations. Um, <clears throat> for somebody else, this temperance sitting on top of this recognition and reward in the prosperity beginning is just talking about remaining balanced in um, the blessing that is here for you. Um, not being greedy, not being um, overly greedy about it. Now, <laughs> this is some stuff. You cannot make this stuff up. These two cards are meant specifically for the material harvest. Um, validation. This is the eight of cups again, walking towards something new or walking away from something that no longer served you so that you could reap the rewards of what was coming in. And what's coming in for you one more time is the four of wands. So this is foundation and achievement. So if perhaps there was a relationship that started to fall apart because you were maybe in the bottle a little bit too much, trust me, I'm, there's no judgment here. I get it. Um, it's turning around for you and you're being given this, this fresh cup here, um, to completely help, um, restart and recharge, but that's sitting in the work sector. So that tells me that there is this capability of others of you to walk away, um, into a new job area and it is going to be a beautiful thing. Um, you have the tool with this Ace of Swords here to help cut through the bullshit, be very um, specific with what it is that you want. Um, you've already torn um, your thought process um, from, you know, sword energy with this Nine of Swords into this, um, this fire energy, which is where you like to be anyway. Um, and it's working out for you. So let's get a clarifier on this family, please. Let's get a clarifier on this one. Or this Ace of Cups. I cannot believe that almost all the Aces are out. This is beautiful. Well, just one, please. Well, I mean, if you have a story, I'll take it. But let's start with one. There it is. <laughs> okay. Seven of Pentacles. Um, you just need a little bit more work to do. You are going to be given this blessing, but there's a little bit more work. Take a look back. Take... Take yourself out of the situation for a second and recognize how far you've come. But, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is growing in the right direction. It just means you need to take a step back and you need to take a look at um, maybe tweaking something just a little bit. Um, but the, there's blooming that's happening here. There's growth. It's not dead. Um, it's not completely dead. It just needs to be twisted and shifted just a little bit. And that's all that means. So keep going. Now, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and again, we still have the angel tarot to sit specifically on the family and the finances. The magician, the star card, and we've got this truth here. So let's talk about finances, please. <laughs> 
Four of Pentacles. Foundation, and yes, I know it looked crazy, but I was told to make sure it was upright. So the Four of Pentacles upright, everything is going to be okay with finances. Be cognizant of what you're spending versus what you're saving, but there's enough for you to begin this foundation. So you are aware of this fact. Um, you've seen the light at the tunnel, um, and you understand um, what kind of balance needs to happen in that particular area. <sighs> I'm just going to take a quick drinky drink here because... This is huge energies, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more um, kind of calmed down here. Very amped up, very amped up. And that's because there was multiple messages for multiple people, obviously. And I greatly appreciate this. I love, love, love doing this. I absolutely love doing this. All right, angels, angel tarot. We would like to get a card. To help clarify anything else that needs to be done for our family sector, we've got the Ace of Cups and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. What else can you help share for our Leos that are out there for March of 2020? <laughs> I only want one. Which one, please? We're going to do it this way. It's this one. Thank you. <laughs> you go to the nine of abundance, the nine of pentacles. <laughs> your hard work and dedication to your dreams is going to provide you with the peace and contentment that you are requesting. Take time to enjoy quiet moments. Um, reflect and have leisure. Feel free to buy yourself a small, luxurious gift. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So I'm getting that um, for some of you, you're you're very much single. <laughs> and now is the time to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor with all this different work that has gone on. Um, I'm, I'm going to flip one more time just to make sure. Is there anything else, angels? I'm going to put that one back in. That was my ring. <clears throat> Anything else, angels, that we need to know about for the family sector here for a Leo? This is a lot of extra cards, so help me. <laughs> thank you. It flipped right over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you've got the messenger of action. Something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. So you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going, although you may feel insecure. Do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life who is creative enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. I love that. So um, if you're not necessarily coupled up with someone, then you have someone that really is coming towards you that is going to help you fulfill um, all of those different desires. Okay, angels. Now let us get a card <laughs> or cards that will help specify this area for our Leos for finances. And there it is. The healer of emotion. Follow your heart. You may feel compelled to uh, nurture others so that don't for, uh, let me try that again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your own emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. That's that knee right there. You will receive flashes of intuition. That's the awareness. That's the magician. Um, that will help to provide you with incredible insights. That is the whole portion as well. Can, you can't make this stuff up. Oh my God. I just love doing this. I just love doing this. Okay. Um, I want to get a little bit more clarification for the heartache and loss. I'm feeling very much heart chakra. Um, and I also have blended with the color blue there. The fact that the throat chakra was not activated at one point enough to talk to somebody. But let's see what the angels of it. Uh, uh, excuse me, the therapy angels would like to support us with for our Leos, with our physical body. We had heartache and loss, and then we had the three of pentacles. Can you help our Leos, please? There it is. Oh, interesting. All right. So call upon the archangels Michael and Raphael to help lift any fear-based energy away from you, your surroundings, the situation and everyone involved in the situation. So I'm very much feeling that there's a validation there that you were, you, you didn't say or didn't speak something at one point and you thought that it was really hurting the situation. Um, they will come in and help you. You just need to make sure that you have a five, six minutes to sit down, ask them, be seated or lie down 
And when you pull out that request for them, Archangel Michael, Ar Ar Archangel Raphael, please help me to lift those fear-based energies away. Um, it's going to use their little angelic vacuum to like suck that away, not only from you, but for anybody else that's in that situation. So, you know, people that don't have to get into the these and the thous, you can just straight up say, this is what I need and they will come and help you. They cannot interfere. They cannot interfere. You must request their assistance in order for action to be taken. Okay. Unless it's a situation of a dire emergency and then your guardian angel will pop in and, and take care of it. But the angels have to be invoked. They have to be asked. All right, so this is the Angels of Atlantis deck. These are the master angels that have been on the planet since forever, since it was created. Hmm, all right. And we have Archangel Sandalfam talking about intention. Very good. So um, Archangel Sandalfam is responsible for the earth grid itself. You have a galactic grid above, you have the earth grid below, um, and Archangel Sandalfam is responsible for that earth grid. So anyone that understands manifestation um, and gets into calling the directions will definitely understand that the, as above, so below, um, this is intention. So whatever your heart is intending to do, Archang call on Archangel Sandalfon, and he will be supporting you with the earthen energies that you need to have. Um, and I think 